Hi, I'm Perry Hodges, my good friend Mike Pinnefell. He's going to help me show passing the far half guard. So I'm going to make half guard, far half guard. I'm going to drive his knee down and come through and grab his lapel. I'm going to lean, push my center of gravity forward to get as high up in the lapel as possible. When I have this grip, straighten out, Michael. Even with one hand, it's very hard for the person to, to straighten out. If the guy's a complete monster, you can actually hold with two hands for a couple seconds. Okay. Then I'm going to put my head right about here, kind of a lower torso on the left side, put this part of my head. I'm going to grab the outside of the sleeve, put my head, and I'm going to walk back on my knees. So even if his legs are really tight, I'm going to stand up and pop my knees straight into an A-frame position. Okay? If he's still able to hold on with his toes, the guy's got really long legs, I'm just going to walk back a little bit more and sprawl. Keep my head down, walk to the left, put my hands on the ground, this hand's on the ground, right hand's on the ground, come up. Knee him in the hip. Assume side control. Okay, so just a couple of details. When you put your hand through and you go get the lapel, it depends on your opponent, how big they are, how big you are. But one variable that can happen sometimes is you'll get your elbow on the ground. See my elbows down here? My elbow is there. And then I'm gonna pivot walking on my elbow. In that case, my elbow is on the ground, and I walk around it. But other times you're doing this technique, it's really more your fist that's on the ground. Okay? When my fist is on the ground, look what happens to my hand. See this hand? The fist is on the ground, then I put my hand flat on it. Come on to the, to the right. This is where my hand is. And then I'm going to put my hand flat on the ground, fingers facing him, in this position, palm on the ground. So this sticks him here so he can't scissor and he can't get up. Then I'm going to walk my fingers towards him, push him on the side, put my arm out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that technique. Thank you, Mike, for helping me out. Good job. Uh, we're going to be uploading a couple of the techniques every two weeks or so. If you have any questions or you want to email me, uh, you can email me at uh, perrybjj at gmail.com or you can comment below. Thanks a lot.